Okay, hello everyone. What is going up here? This is Professor SYS here. I will try to explain as many things as possible. I'm not going to cover everything because that will kill everyone need to do this crash course. We will kind of do it really focus on what is coming out in the SPM. So basically, it's kind of SPM focus. So yep, with that clear, let's go on to the first thing. So the first thing I want to explain right here is actually the base and derived quantity. So the base and derived quantity is kind of simple. Well, base stands for basic, and derive is something that is derived. This means they are like new stuff they are being created. So it's basically basics to derive. So let's take a few example of basic. You need to remember first thing the length, second thing the mass, current, then your um, time, and lastly temperature. These are the five basic you basic quantity that you need to remember. Now remember, physical quantity is basically anything that we can measure. That simple. Measure, imagine a ruler, and you rem remember everything. So that is for quantity. Now for length, the SI unit is meter, current is ampere, time is second, temperature is Kelvin, and the mass is kg. This is only special guy that needs some prefix at the front of him. So just remember that mass is kg, kilogram, kg. That's why you measure your mass in kg, not in gram. So remember, this is the standard units. You need to remember five standard units. Bear in mind, and you should be fine with it. Now the next thing you need to remember is derived quantity. Now take an example of derived quantity would be like area. It's it's like it is not directly measurable. It is coming from something else. So length. Is like length times length equal to area, right? So length times length times length, and we get volume. That is what we call derived quantity. A few other example will be like the speed. You have learned and paid attention in your primary school in our math chapter. You will know that speed is equal to distance over time. The unit is sort of simple, right here. You see length times length. So it's like meter times meter, which means meter square. Here. It is like meter times meter times meter, which means meter cube. Well, for here distance, take a look. The SI unit is meter time. The SI unit is second, right? So it's meter s minus one. Whatever that's bottom at the bottom and being divided, you need to put them at the negative one symbol right here. The bottom goes to negative one. Take for another example. Well, for the acceleration, it is basically going to be um, the speed, this one is speed, right? This thing, so it's going to be speed over time. So you have m s minus one over time again, right? S minus one. So you can sum that up as m s minus two. So yep, that will be the basic and derived quantity. That's all you need to remember.